Hello everybody, this is Thomas with part two of the CAN to Cluster project. This episode will focus on the handheld remote and if you need details to the ignition key then you're going to want to watch the part one video so see the description below for a link to that. Every key on the handheld remote has a function. Button number one and two are used to play the uh, engine animations that you uh, see when you use the ignition key but the number three button has a special purpose. It's for those of you that love to hear engine revs. Um, every time you press the three, you're gonna get an engine rev, and I'll give you a little example of that. Uh, let's get a, go ahead and get her going. And every time you press the three, I'll get another rev. Let's do that one more time. So if you need your daily dose of engine revs, then you're going to be pushing that number three button all the time. The second row with the buttons number four through six are used for some standard gauge settings. Uh, the number four does this. 3500 RPM at 60 miles per hour. And the five and six buttons are for some preset conditions that are easily changed in the Arduino software using a table. But let's go to number five. Gauge preset number one. And number six. Gauge preset number two. On the next row is the number seven key, which is used to do a sweep test of the gauges. And it looks like this. Gauge sweep test. And we're not able to sweep the battery or the fuel gauge, um, so you won't see those move in this test. The number eight button resets the uh, entire cluster to some default conditions and looks like this. Oh, and you're also gonna hear the welcome message. Welcome to the Mustang instrument cluster with CAN bus control. The number nine button is used to stop the motor at any time. Uh, to give you an example of that, let me uh, get the engine started by pushing the number one button. And then I'm going to press the number 9 button now. Engine off. And so it's easy as that. Anytime you want to stop an animation, just press the number 9 key. And the fourth row has the uh, lighting controls. Uh, the star key changes the intensity of the LEDs you see on the speakers and the message control panel that has the three switches. And each time I press the button, the intensity goes to the next step and uh, wraps around to the lowest intensity which you're seeing right now. So let's get that up a little bit. And the pound key, which looks like a hashtag, uh, kind of has the same sort of functionality, but this time it's going to change the intensity of the cluster's backlighting. Uh, backlighting's off and we're going to go step up 10% with each press. Up, wrapped around. And something like that. And then the uh, zero key is going to toggle between the daytime, daytime lights on, and the nighttime, nighttime lights on. And the uh, joystick area has uh, the left and right up and down buttons, and in the center is a little button marked OK. Anytime you press the OK, you're going to get a horn honk, just like that. Each press is one horn honk. And the up and down arrows change the volume, and you'll get a little bit of feedback to help you understand what volume level you're at. That's pretty loud. For example, if I were to honk the horn now, much louder. Let's bring that down. That's a little better. And then the left and right arrows are for turn signals. You press the right arrow, you get a right turn. Press the left arrow, you get a left turn, and if you press the same button again, you'll turn off that indicator. Well, that about wraps up our part two of the CAN to Cluster project demonstrations. I appreciate you joining me, and you have a great one.